Hi, my name is Ashok. Today we are going to see the topic how to upload price list using a normal Excel sheet. Basically, SAP has provided a plugin for the user to upload the price list or any other data. So, generally, we have to go to the work center, application and user management, and download center. Where you will be able to find the first option SAP added for Microsoft Excel. As I've already installed this application, I just want to show you before going into this topic. I just want to show in our standard process of uh, Business by Design, we usually use migration of price list, which will have n number of steps where you have to follow each step one by one and clear them. So basically. The execution of migration happens by uploading the data, and it has to be like step by step, or either it has to be executed Im import immediately. But whereas over here, it's totally different. Go to the work center pricing. Over there, you will find an option called download. So. In the drop down, you will have uh, certain options. So based on which, as per the business needs, you can download the uh, Excel sheet. So now I'm just uh, taking the base price list, and I'm going to click on download. So the template is downloaded now. I'm just clicking on opening it. So over here, you you will be able to see an option called Business by Design. So we have to click on Login. As I have already entered the URL, enter the URL and the username and the password, and click on Login. Now the system is ready. With SAP by design. So basically, there are a lot of options over here like name, currency, valid from, valid to, description, language. And if you could see uh, the other side is a product ID, product type, amount, price unit, unit of measure, scale. And the next sheet is having the scales in this Excel. So basically, my requirement is the Normal base price. I'm just going to show how we can add the normal base price. So let me enter the name in uppercase. So let's take an example of SAP. I'll give a name, a blank name. And now the currency which I'm handling is USD. And validity date, you can give it from when you want this uh, price list to be activated. So I'm just giving the dates over here. Then uh, is it valid from and valid to? Change this to eight. And I need a product which is already in the system. So let me go take a product from here. Okay, my product ID is this. So for this, I'm going to make it the price. So let me put the product here. So what is product type? So I don't know what is product type. So you can just click on lookup. When you click on lookup, you will have a certain option which is popping up. So is it a material? Is it a service? Is it an individual product or a warranty or an entity? So it is a material. So I'll let me select material and click on OK. The amount of this product which I'm going to sell is two thousand USD. The next is. Is it is asking the price unit? Like I'll give it as one. 
and unit of measure is each as I've already know but anyway I'll look up here I can find the n number of unit of measures so each is my unit of measure for this product so now I have selected everything and I did I left the description and language is blank as it is not mandatory that we should fill that so once it is done you just have to click on save data so system is throwing some error so we just need to rectify those before we proceed further the system is throwing error since my date was not maintained correctly so let me again enter the date as per the format which has been provided So let me click on save data to. Okay. Now the system has thrown a warning message price list has been saved and sent for approval. So basically what happens my price has been uploaded to the system and from there I have to get an approval from the authorized person whoever is in charge for approving the price list. So if you could see. SAP was my name given to the price list which is not at release and if I click on edit the product which I have entered is here and the price is here and the unit for, for, a, for a particular uh, for the particular product is one which I have maintained it's all maintained so now once the appropriate user is over is in charge for this price list he can approve it and he can release the price list. Once it is released, it is active and it is ready for use. So, thank you for watching this video.